Hey Disco friends, this is Tatiana from Disco VR, and today we'll discover how to set up SideQuest on your Quest headset. And every time I get asked why do you need SideQuest, I get really surprised because SideQuest is a must-have tool for any Quest owner. Before we dive in into how to install it on your Quest or how to use it on your PC, I want to quickly run through the most important things that you can do with SideQuest that you can't do in any other way. If you know exactly what SideQuest is and you're just here for the tutorial, that you can skip the next two minutes and uh, go straight to the tutorial part. First of all, SideQuest is a place where you can get VR game ports. And these are VR game ports of popular games like Minecraft, Doom 3, Tomb Raider, and so, so many more. Uh, even Super Mario VR is like a game that's trending right now. Someone just made a VR version of that game, which is pretty good. Uh, but yeah, that's the kind of game that you can't find on the official store. This makes SideQuest really unique because it gives platform to this really uh, experimental, really exclusive kind of things to see the light of the day. The truth is SideQuest started as the platform that allowed any developer to upload their VR games without having to go through the lengthy and confusing approval process from the Meta Store. But right now it has transformed and has become this largest discovery platform of all virtual reality games, which means that you can find both the hidden gems, the early access, those games that are usually difficult to find, but you also can find a really, really popular games too. Like for example, you can guess the most popular free games. There, there are lists on the website that are frequently curated. And to tell you a secret, I actually work for SideQuest and many of these curated lists is something that I was directly responsible for. There's also some awesome sideload only content. You know, I've mentioned the VR game ports. These are the games that you can't just download on Meta. You need to sideload them onto your Quest. And for that, you need SideQuest. Some other things that you can sideload are a really awesome custom homes. So if you go to the custom homes category on SideQuestVR.com, you will see dozens and dozens free custom homes that you can sideload onto your Quest and completely transform the way that your home environment looks inside your VR headset. But custom homes is also one of the things that you need to sideload because you can't just find it on Meta. But basically it is a place for anything VR related. If you own a Quest headset, this should be your go-to website. So while you can actually just use SideQuest to browse games through sidequestvr.com, right there you can uh, find the game that you like and if you click on a download, it will take you directly to the Meta Store because SideQuest is not a store. It is a platform where you can discover games. So if the game is on Meta Store, you will simply find a game listing that will direct you to that website. SideQuest don't sell games. They're literally just cataloging them and giving you the ability to discover all of them in one place. However, if it's a sideload title, let's say it's a game port, then you can sideload it. And for that, you do need a SideQuest app. I either on your PC or on your headset. And this is exactly what I'm going to tell you today, how you can do it. This tutorial is going to work on all Quest devices, whether it's Quest 3S, Quest 3 or Quest 2. If you click on go to SideQuest, you will see that there are actually two versions that you can uh, install, a web installer or advanced installer. But to say it simpler, uh, this should be basically called a VR app, a SideQuest VR app, or a SideQuest PC app. Web installer means you simply use your browser to install it onto your Quest. So let's try this web installer. We will go to select, and there is a really handy step-by-step -step mode that explains to you how to do it. First thing you'll need to do, and this is the most intimidating step, is enabling the developer mode. So developer mode is kind of like uh, the lock that keeps all of the sideloading superpower uh, locked up inside the headset. And in order to unlock it, you'll need to enable the developer mode. And there is a video right here, which I made, of course, for SideQuest, and it's less than one minute long. That's how long it takes you to enable the developer mode. So in order to enable it, you'll need to go to dashboard.oculus.com. From here, you will simply need to log in with your Oculus account. You can just type in anything you want here, any name. This is not going to be used in any way. Just type in some name that hasn't been used before. Then you'll click I understand stand and submit. Then you will agree to this developer non-disclosure agreement and submit. If this is the first time you are doing this, there will be a step that will ask you to confirm your identity. It will ask you to set up a two-way authentication. It may ask you to confirm your phone number. It may even ask you to put in your credit card, but I promise you this is completely safe because this is the Meta website we're talking about here. This is Oculus account they are not going to steal your data. This is for them to verify that you are a real human person and not a bot. So now that this is done, you have your developer account. This developer option is now on 
unlocked in your Meta Horizon app. You will go to your Meta Horizon app and right here, go to the menu, your devices, select your device and from here you will be able to get the headset settings menu and right there this is the developer mode that you will tap this option was not available for you before but now that you have created this organization you will see this developer mode right here and all you need to do is toggle the setting on and that will essentially turn on the developer mode on your quest you can do this on any headset you have it will work on quest 3s it will work on quest 3 quest 2 if you still have quest pro or quest 1 it's going to work there as well if you go back to your web installer you already have your developer mode enabled this will allow you to go to the next step so right here you will enable the device connection and that simply means that you will be connecting your headset to your computer using a usb c data cable you select your device quest 3s right here and click on connect as you can see this isn't able to do it and the simple reason for that is because i already have a side quest running right here if you don't want to get this uh, error you will need to close the side quest and right here it has connect. So basically, if you don't have the SideQuest PC app installed onto your computer, you should not have that error message. But if you do, simply close that. Here you'll get a message that says allow USB debugging. I recommend you click on always allow from this computer so that you don't get this window again. All right, and now it's ready to install a SideQuest VR app on your Quest. Click here and just wait a little bit. Okay. It's all installed and that was this easy. You don't even need a SideQuest PC app to do this. You can just do it with your web browser and it worked. Now the SideQuest app actually uh, started automatically and this is the first window you will see. You have the code that you will need to put in your PC in order to connect it. For this next step, you will actually need to have a SideQuest account. It is a very easy and quick to do. So simply click on here and uh, create a new account. I'm already signed in, but if you click on this uh, bottom left corner you'll be able to create your own SideQuest account and then you'll be able to link it. So there's a link sdq.st slash link and uh, if you're using this website this is the link that you'll need to click on. I will also put it here on the screen if you want to see what it is but Basically, here it is. You will put in the code exactly the way you see it in VR. So now it's all ready to link. I will simply click on link now and it's done. And it's already linked to SideQuest. Then I put on my headset, allow this app to access your storage. You will give this a permission to do that. Allow USB debugging again. And you can see that your Wi-Fi ADB is enabled and your SideQuest is running right here, which is awesome. You can also browse through custom homes. Here they are, the most popular ones. And if you want to install anything, you'll just click on it. It says custom home matrix. You'll click on sideload now and it's going to start sideloading. The first time that you're going to sideload anything onto your quest, it will ask you for permissions. So you'll go to settings right here, install unknown apps, allow from this source. Here it is. Immediately as you do this, it's going to ask you if you want to install it. And this is going to install the matrix void. So let's see. If you go to your settings and here in personalization, you'll go to virtual environments and you'll find matrix loading void. And if you activate it. Welcome to your new custom home. Wow. Oh, this one is one of my favorites. Just looks so, so cool. If you want to find SideQuest, uh, you will need to go to applications and in applications, unknown sources. And here is your SideQuest. You start it and you'll be able to browse anything you want here. It's kind of like having the second app store on your Quest with a SideQuest PC app, sort of an advanced app. So the main difference between the PC app and the NVR app is mainly that you can sideload APKs that you have on your PC directly onto your Quest. For example, I have a video where I describe how you can uh, install a Netflix app onto your headset so that you're able to use that app instead of the web browser to watch Netflix movies or shows because that app will give you ability to download them onto your headset and watch them offline. 
So you can only do that using the PC app because you will need to download that APK file and then sideload it onto your headset. And if you want to play VR game ports like Beef Raider, for example, you will need to have a base version of the game and then you need to do a couple of steps on your PC in order to install this VR game port. So those are the main things why you may need this advanced PC installer. So first, you're going to need to download the file onto your computer, whichever one will work. Uh, this works for Windows, this will also works for Mac, and it even works for Linux. But I just have my Windows, so I'm going to download it. From here, you'll simply start installation, you go through the step, and once your app is installed and you start it, you will see a window that looks something like this. This is essentially the same as the web browser window, but it is an app. And this app will allow you to sideload different programs directly onto your headset without the need to go through the Meta Store. But you see that when you start it, your headset will not be detected because it's not connected and it is not uh, working right now. So once you connect it, you will see that it says it's unauthorized and you need to allow it in the headset. That means that you need to put on your headset and allow USB debugging. And once that's done, you will see that there is now a green dot. That means your Quest 3 is connected and uh, you can sideload content right here, right from uh, the computer. You can do it inside your VR app too, but if you still prefer to do it from your PC, then you can do it. Like for example, I want to sideload the Super Mario VR app. Uh, I'm going to click on sideload now and it's going to start installing. Here. Okay, it's done now. You'll be able to find it in your applications, then unknown sources, and here you will find it, uh, everything that you've sideloaded, including SideQuest, custom homes, and your apps. Same way, you can use SideQuest now in order to change some uh, settings here. Like for example, you can change the default texture resolution. That means that all the games are gonna be rendering in higher resolution, and that looks really, really cool, but you need to be careful because some really power demanding games might be a bit glitchy or slow if you choose a very high resolution. So you got to be careful with that. You also can change uh, some other things like the refresh rate and even the video size. You can record it in different resolutions. There's a whole bunch of other things that you can explore and I'll be making another video going through all of these settings and how you should use them. There is actually a video on my channel where I explain how you can install SideQuest VR app directly onto your headset without the need for a PC, but that is a very unofficial version. If you want to do it, you can try. I simply need to put it out there that this is not the official way that SideQuest wants you to do it. In the meantime, I hope you found this video helpful and stay tuned for even more awesome content. See you next time!